If you enjoy this type of pattern, please tap that thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Do you have pattern tutorial ideas? I'm all ears. At yarnspirations.com you can review the free pattern. Scroll down and see the rating and reviews from others. Read the pattern yourself. Better yet, share your tips or advice by leaving a meaningful comment as it helps others. I actually use those comments myself when I'm struggling to understand the pattern. Share some advice on things that you've learned in the pattern or even just leave a nice note of appreciation. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today is the Irish Lace Afghan. This is the pattern overview. Just for the record's sake, I am not feeling great. So if you hear that in my voice, I'm doing fine and I don't need any medical advice. So what we have today is this beautiful Irish Lace Afghan that is made up of panels. And what I've done is that this came in as a request on YouTube for me to film. And when I looked at it, I realized it's a lot easier than it really does appear. And I created some diagrams to help me illustrate and how this is done. So I'm going to walk you through verbally on how this is done because um, once you understand how this is done I think um, it's pretty straightforward. So without further ado let's head on into the diagrams and let's explain what's going to be happening. So what we have here if you take the blanket and you put it this way the blanket is being made up of panels in the lengthwise this way. So when it's displayed it's actually turn the other way. So what this is, it's made up of these little motifs that are joining and there's a total of 15. So you're going to do the very first one and it will look like this and if you're familiar with crochet diagrams you just have to create the first one. And then once you create the first one, the next one when you go to start it, it will be joining it on the corners. So the corners here when you saw it, it was going to be a chain three corner but if there's a join it's going to be chain one, slip stitch to the next one, chain one and then come back and so what you're doing is you're strategically attaching these together as you go and once this side is attached you just continue to do the motif as normal. And then you build the next one out like that. So you just keep on attaching and building it very much like stacking Lego. And so once there's 15 of those across then your panel is going to be ready. Now because I did this in diagram format you're going to notice is that there's going to be a slice in the pattern. So this particular mathematic count works on the 15 that are going across. So if you're going to change the number of motifs it will probably impact the counting of your stitches in the next row. So just make sure that you keep that in mind. So you can follow this. You can get this information on the crochetcrowd.com. Um, we, I have created those uh, downloadables for you and it's free of course that you can do that. So once you have your panel done, okay, and you need to make a total of seven of these strips that each have 15 motifs, you're then ready to build on top of it and you're ready to build each side of this. So let me just take a, a little bit of a breather and come right back. So we have to build the side edging. So once the paneling is done, so there will be a total of 15 of these across, you're going to build it up and you're just going to build up five rows. And so once you build up this five rows, you're going to turn the panel the other way and build this side of the panel. So essentially you're having these directly in the middle with the edging being built out. So let's just take you quickly through the side edging here. And so when you start the first row you'll chain three right on a corner space here and put three single crochets or sorry two single crochets in there. So with the chain three and those two that gives you the number three. Then each one of these chain five spaces that you'll have will each have five double crochets and then when you're back over here to do this there will be two double crochet in this space, one in the join and then two into this space and then you put five into these chain five spaces again and you're gonna do that all the way across. Once you have that done it's gonna help you establish and everything's in sets of five that you'll see. And so when you go to do row number two you'll chain three and you'll slam in a single crochet in between each group of the five as you go with a chain five that will separate them out and it will have a nice even uh, keel to it. So even though it looks a little askew here in the pattern it uh, actually will be evened out. In row number three you're going to chain up three and then you're going to put two double crochets into this chain three spot and when you look at it from the other side there's chain uh, there's two double crochets in this spot here and then one in two there. So each one of these chain five spaces will have five single crochets. Now I put this in here. This is a diagram splice. Because there's not 15 here the counts are a little bit off when I show you a small sample like this. So I put a line in there just to indicate that it's been spliced up. When you start row number four you're going to chain up three. You'll skip two and then put this V stitch in there. And so that is a double crochet, chain two, double crochet into the same. And then you'll skip three stitches and then do the same. 
skip three stitches and you'll continue that all the way down the road and then eventually you'll come to the fourth stitch that will be left over and so what you wanna do is that you'll put in a V stitch, skip two and then put in a double crochet right at the very end. Finally row number five is chain up two which equals a half double crochet and then you'll put in a half double crochet into each one of the double crochets and two um, half double crochets into each of the chain uh, two spaces and so that will give you a nice flat, a flat look. So once you have that done you'll do the other side exactly the same way so you'll be building it out and therefore you will be using this half double crochet to attach it to each other. So let me show you the final diagram here. So once you have your panels you have a total of seven of them. So this is here is one panel. So you have the, the middle with it being built on on both sides and then you'll have another panel. So what you're going to use is you're gonna sew using a back uh, loop only and you'll whip stitch the half double crochets together right at this particular spot and you'll go all the way across all the way down uh, to the other side. And so you'll put all of your seven panels together in that format and therefore it'll all look just like this. So in the photograph you see that it's draped on the on the chair and so it's being draped in this manner here even though you've been working at it back and forth like this. So you can decide to add the fringe on if you want to. The fringe information is available to you in the pattern. It's right here and it's just equally spaced along the edging. So it's just equally spaced along this side and therefore when you go to display it you will put it lengthwise like this just for a visual. So hopefully this makes any sense. If you know how to read crochet diagrams this will probably be a lot more helpful for you. Uh, the instructions are actually pretty straight uh, straightforward but sometimes in visualize, uh, visualizing how it's being joined along the edge can be a little bit confusing. So hopefully that will work out for you and again this information is available on the crochetcrowd.com and just follow the link in the more information in this video and you can get that as well as the free downloadable here on yarnspirations.com as well. So that's it for today. This is the Irish Lace Afghan by Your Inspirations. We'll see ya.